Alrighty, so I have a really interesting construction update for you guys today. Um, the term construction used very loosely. Um, a lot of you are probably here too because of the title. Um, it is not clickbait. So um, just to go a little further into explanation, for those of you that watched my video yesterday, um, footage from January 14th, um, you'll notice that there were no cranes on site. We were discussing some potential like just delay and by delay, we were using that term loosely as well. Um, so there were no construction equipment or cranes on site that we could see. There was some weird things going on with track pieces. Um, and today is no different. So except for the crane is back, so I can definitely make out a crane. The construction equipment is working on the queue line for Yukon Striker. That's very evident. There's lots of lots of signage or theming being built around Yukon Striker's station and entranceway as you enter the pathway towards Yukon Striker's helix. Um, but what's very weird um, and very interesting is what's going on with the vertical loop. So there should be four pieces that are sitting and waiting to be installed. Now we are really far away. So anything that I'm reporting on in this video, I cannot confirm with 100% certainty. Um, what I can tell you is track pieces are for sure being removed from Yukon Strikers vertical loop. So that is some sad news, um, but I'll get further into that. Um, what I can also kind of make out, and again, I can't confirm because track pieces can be hidden in between things, behind things. It looks like two pieces of track are not on site that I can see from this angle. They're not in storage. So we have one in storage and we have two disassembled um, sitting near the uh, Immelman loop and the vertical loop. And we're missing the two track pieces um, that I had accounted for. So there were four that still needed to be re uh, installed. One was removed, and uh, as you can see, there's the photo on the right from January 8th and the photo on the left from January 15th. Um, so I can only make out three track pieces on site. Two are unaccounted for. Um, I have no idea what that is for. Um, as you can see, there's a cement truck pulling in and it is heading towards the vertical loop. On construction projects, things can go wrong. Things can, may need to be re-poured or refitted. Um, so it could just be that as well. Um, but it is definitely very interesting and very weird. Um, I will give it that. And uh, the timing couldn't be worse. <laughs> uh, we are getting down to the last little bit. Um, all I'll say is construction projects always run into um, little bumps here and there. And stuff like this isn't out of the ordinary. Uh, Yukon Striker is very well um, on schedule to opening. There isn't any signs of it opening late. Um, the park hasn't said otherwise either, so don't go panicking. Um, this is normal on construction projects. Don't worry, Yukon Striker's fine. Um, but I will definitely be keeping a very close eye on what's going on with the vertical loop. This is very interesting. Um, I haven't seen anything like this in recent years during a construction project. Um, but uh, we have seen coasters needing to remodel stuff or redo things. And uh, yeah, the vertical loop is the first for a dive coaster, so who knows? Uh, maybe there's something they just need to refit. Maybe the concrete didn't cure properly. Um, it could be a number of things, and I can't even begin to speculate for you guys. Um, but anyways, we'll be keeping a close eye. I had to update you guys. This is extremely weird. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this <laughs> deconstruction update on Yukon Striker. Um, we'll be keeping a close eye, as I just said. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.